Hi, my name is Deacon Jim, and this is St. Bernadette Church in South Los Angeles. Today is Wednesday, December 23rd, and we're right on the cusp of moving into Christmas Eve tomorrow. But today is always an important day. Never live for tomorrow, live for today. So let us begin as we always begin, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we begin our celebration, let us praise our merciful God. Lord Jesus, you came to seek out those who were lost. Lord, have mercy. You came to give your life for the sake of all. Christ, have mercy. You came to gather into one family your scattered children. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, as we see how the nativity of your Son, according to the flesh, draws near, we pray that to us, your unworthy servants, mercy may flow from your word, who choose to become flesh of the Virgin Mary, and establish among us his dwelling. Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, Amen. And let us come together as we break open the scripture. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending you my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due to the sac due sacrifice to the Lord. Then sac the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in the day years gone by. Lo, I will send you, Elijah the prophet, before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day, to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with dew. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, lift up your heads and see. Your redemption is near at hand. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. Lift up your heads and see. Your redemption is near at hand. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Lift up your heads and see. Your redemption is near at hand. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Lift up your heads and see. Your redemption is near at hand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O King of all nations, keystone of the church, come and save man whom you formed from the dust. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, 
There is no one among your relatives who have this name. So they made signs asking his father what he wished him to be called. He raised, asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke blessings of God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Great story. Love that story. Um, today is, as I said, uh, Wednesday, December 23rd. It's the feast of St. John of Canti, priest. This priest, is a Silesian by birth, was nearly all his life a professor of sacred scripture and other subjects at the University of Krakow. He imposed penitential conditions of life on himself and his goods were always at the disposal of the poor, who often cleared him out. <laughs> that's a quote, that's a quote, who often cleared him out. He died in 1473, and he was canonized in 1767. St. John of Canty, priest. So, we hear today one of the, another one of the great stories that, of course, we hear at Christmas time, um, and that is the story of the naming of uh, John the Baptist. Um, if you ever have seen some of the movies uh, about Christ, this was a great moment, particularly because, of course, Zachariah, because of his doubt, is struck not dumb while he's in the temple. And so here at the naming of his son, he regains his voice, which is, is very interesting. But let's look a little bit at the prophet Micah, and that is the statement, Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. Do you ever play Dare Truth or Up in the Roof? As, as young people, it was kind of a drinking game, um, we would play this game, Dare Truth or Up in the Roof. And that is that you, a person would pick one of those, and if you had Up on the Roof, you would have to name three people, and they would have to say which person they would carry down, which person they would throw off, and which person they would leave up there to rot. Truth you got to ask them a question, and they had to answer it truthfully. Dare was precisely that. You dared them to do something, and, you know, they had to do it. That was the game, dare truth or up on the roof. So we hear today in this reading, we said, do you dare to pray this prayer? That's my dare to you. Do you dare to pray this prayer? Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. Hmm. Hmm. We have, what happens to John the Baptist? He's executed. What happens to Jesus? He's executed. What happens to most of the prophets? Well, they're at very least abused, and many of them are executed. Um, Isaiah, for instance, ends up in a tree with an iron rod run through him. So, I... You know, here, here is truly a dare truth or up of the root. Here we are on the very cusp of Christmas, and this sounds more like an Easter question. But here we have the story of Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth making what is basically a, like a cultural faux pas by, by naming this man, by naming their son something other than would be in the lineage of their family. Now, that doesn't sound like a big deal to us in the 21st century, but to a first century Jew, that was a big deal. Who's John? Why are they naming him this name? And so on and so forth. It says, the whole hill country discussed this. Discussed this. And, you know, so it, it, it becomes important for us to realize that quite often in our lives, in this 21st century America, that things are not convenient. One of the things that we should be learning from the pandemic, I know that sounds like a strange thing to say, we should be learning from a pandemic, but one of the things that we should be learning from this pandemic is that we are not in control. Americans in particular, 21st century Americans, and, and most of the, the industrialized world at least, you know, all have this issue of finding ways to be more in control of their lives. That's what our cell phones are about. 
What do you think the cell phone? Why do you think we're addicted to our cell phones? Because it gives us control. Because we're able to talk to a person at a moment's notice. Some of us are that are from the actual dial phone world. Maybe some of us that even had party lines. You know, this whole idea of, of a, a device that we can walk around in our hand and do just about anything with it, from find places to shop to so on and so forth, we're all about control. And yet, at the end of the day, what our lives remind us is, you're not in control. You're not in control. There's an old joke that goes, if you want to make God smile, tell him your plans. And so many of us have these great plans, or I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and so on, and we discover we're not in control. We're not in control at all. And yet we hear, and we heard yesterday the story of three, the three women. Um, today, we hear the story again of people who are not in control, but, but they also understand that God is directing them in a path, and they're following that path. My brothers and sisters, as we enter Christmas and we enter the beginning of our religious year soon, what is God asking you to do? What changes do you need to make in your life? What are you learning from this pandemic? What things are, do we need to cast off, and what things do we need to bring back into our lives? Maybe it's a life of prayer or so on. But, my brothers and sisters, we're called to be like um, Zechariah and his wife. We're called to trust. We're called to believe in God. And so, my brothers and sisters, on those days when you have those decisions that you have to make, think of Elizabeth and Zechariah. Think of the decisions that they made, and realize that sometimes the best decision isn't the easiest one. Amen. We have opened our hearts and minds to the wisdom of God in the liturgy of the word. Now let us turn to him humbly and sincerely with these common petitions. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for our Archbishop, Jose, for all the pastors, priests, and deacons of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, that they be blessed with the zeal and courage to proclaim the values and the obligations of our holy religion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civil leaders and representatives at the national and the local levels, that their laws and their lives be an inspiration to all citizens by reflecting right reason and divine revelation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our youth in particular, that they be given the encouragement and the guidance they need to resist the immoral and sinful presence of our current pagan culture. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the needy, the aged, the lonely, that they be consoled spiritually by the gifts of grace and also receive care, aid, and loving concern from relatives, friends, and neighbors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died recently, that they may speedily attain the blessedness of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that our own personal relationship with Jesus Christ be nourished by the word of God and a life of prayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died recently, that they may speedily attain the blessedness of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and compassion, bless us by granting these common petitions, for we plead to you in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And let us come together and pray the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Grant your peace, O Lord, to those you have nourished with these heavenly gifts, that we may be readily be ready with lighted lamps to meet your dearly beloved Son as at his coming, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. We will be here with the Liturgy of the Word for Christmas Eve. And so stay tuned. God bless. Have a great day. Happy midweek.